now that you tinkered around a little bit with D sus2 and D sus4, let me show you how you can spice it up using a sound effect called a hammer-on. The hammer-on sounds like this. What's going on here? What's going on here is that the hammer-on makes the sound a lot smoother than just picking every note. So you have to get used to a new concept, which is playing between your strums. So let me show you how it's done. If you start with D sus2, which is D, a D chord, a regular run-of-the-mill D chord, without the finger on the first string, with the open first string, and you hammer on the note on the first string, you hammer on two, this is what you get. Okay, so you pick zero, but you hammer on two. But you do it with the chord. So practice this a little bit. Okay? You can also vary it. You can play zero two, and then you can hammer on. Like this. Okay, so zero, zero, two, two, zero, 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 hammer on to two. Once again. Now, what's happening here is that you hammer on after you strum, okay? You don't play, okay? You don't play both notes. You just hammer it on. And you do the same thing between D and D sus4. So you have D on, and you hammer on your little finger on three on the first string. Got it? So let's see how that sounds. Strum, 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 hammer on, and then strum again. And when you get really comfortable with hammer ons, it makes your music a lot smoother and a lot more professional sounding. sound like a professional guitarist using only one simple trick. It's that easy. So have fun with it. I'll see you again real soon.